I'm rocking my G-Shock. 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 I'm rocking my G-Shock.
bezel as well. Um, I was thinking about not doing it because of the black colors. I was afraid it's gonna damage that. And be very careful not to scratch the glass when you hit it with this. So matter of fact, I'm gonna use some tape, some uh, painter's tape and cover the glass to protect it. Be right back. All right, so I pretty much just put some um, painter's tape around it and push my finger against the edges to give me kind of a, uh, a stencil or an idea of where to cut it out. And I'm gonna remove it like that. I'm gonna cut that out and then put it back on the glass. All right, I cut it out. Now paste it or taped it back on. Notice that I have some gaps there. Do not do this side with those gaps. Just switch or pull the tape off and flip it or switch it over to cover that glass before you get started, okay? You wanna protect that glass. Um, this sandpaper will cause more damage to the glass and um, it will be counterproductive to what you're trying to get accomplished. So now that it is covered, you could strike it with the uh, 1000 grade sandpaper. Okay, um, I think I'm done with the uh, sandpaper. I'm going to give it another wash and then we'll move on to uh, the next step, which is step, what is it, three? Here we go. All right, next step is to use uh, your Dremel um, with some Dilux wax to give it a good buff. Get some of the, get some of the uh, scratches out of there. Uh, make sure you use a clean, um, I'm not sure what this, forget what this is called. Make sure you use a clean one because you want to get the dirt from another thing you use to clean and spread it onto your watch. Um, so start off new with the new, with the new uh, brush. Um, you can use the same one, but you can see there's dirt already there. Um, as long as you use the same color, uh, Dilox wax, it shouldn't be an issue. But I'm gonna, use a, I'm gonna use a clean one for this one because it's got a larger surface and it's a larger watch so i want to be able to really get in there and work um the edges so let's get some wax on the dremel you can see it's a new brush so it's throwing all that debris but don't worry about that All right, now that we have our brush coated, we're gonna start off with the top. We'll get back to the front of the bezel after we cover it. For now, let's start off. Oof. A lot of dust. Let's get started with this. I'm gonna put it on low to start off and then we'll switch over to high. You can see those edges. You see that little scratch there? You can see it kind of disappear. See that? How, how it works? Pretty well. Make sure to reapply more um, wax as ne if needed.
All right, now we're gonna cover the face again. We're gonna cover the face to uh, to buff out the front of the glass. Okay, I think we're done with the um, with the buffing. Now we're gonna give it a wash another wash uh, before we move on to the next step. So remember, wash in between steps just to get all the all that junk. I mean, you can look around, look at all these all this junk that's on the watch. And if you move on to the next step and leave this stuff behind, it's gonna damage the watch even more. So um, I noticed that there's some black from the, probably from the paint from the G-Shock. So we're gonna see if that comes off. If not, then um, we gotta figure something out with that. But hopefully it comes off with some good soap and scrub and um, let's go and give it a wash okay I gave it a nice little wash the next and um, one of the last steps is to give it a use the Cape Cod I like to use the Cape Cod and kind of give it a little polish with the Cape Cod um, you see it says for silver cold pewter brass copper bronze nickel aluminum chrome and stainless steel Make sure your watch is stainless steel. So use the uh, Cape Cod and just give it a quick little scrub. You can see the you can see the oil on there. Just give it a little little clean. Get it in there. Get in there really well. See all the dirt come off. All the black. All right, so now we gave it a little polish with the uh, Cape Cod. Um, also, when I washed it, all the black came out, so it wasn't smearing, it was just dirt from, uh, I guess, the polishing, so it came out really well. So let's go continue with the Cape Cod. Uh, last step would be to give it one more wash. Use this washing liquid would be great. I would use that for the last step. Make sure you clean your hands as well. You don't want to transfer the liquids or the oils from your hand to the watch. And I'll be right back. All right. Uh, give it a wash. Now the last step is to use a microfiber cloth to wipe it down. Um, or I got a larger larger one. Is just give it a nice little clean to get all the all the fingerprints off of it and all the necessary fog off the watch, if you may. And that's it, we're done. So now let's compare and see uh, if that made a difference to see if it looks any better. So here you have it. Here's the uh, how it came out. It's not perfect, I want to say, um, but it's definitely a lot better than how it was. Um, I mean, the clasp alone looks beautiful. I mean, there's some on the other side of this band. You can see there's still some scratches in there, of course. It's not going to make it new, but it's going to make it look a lot better than it was. Um, I guess I could have took more time and touched up on some parts, but overall I'm happy with it. I think it's um, time to wear it again, right? There you guys have it. All right, guys. Hopefully you like this little how-to tutorial on how to get your watch clean and um, buffed. Um, if you do, please hit a like. I appreciate it. It helps me, motivates me, encourages me to get more videos and produce more videos. Um, and subscribe if you like the content. There's a lot of G-Shock content coming out. G-Shock reviews, comparisons, um, fake versus real, how-tos. I mean, there's a lot of content I plan to uh, produce and put out there for you guys. Please subscribe if you like my videos so far. 
and comment. Tell me what do you think. Made a difference or not? Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time, I'll see you guys soon. And see you soon. Peace. Money on my mind, I got my G shot. Watch, watch. Plus I'm super fly. I'm rocking my G shot. I'm rocking my G shot. I'm rocking my G shot.